siende si you can do so much god why kwa nini condition na yeziisha the things that you go through mtu anakuambia ni sweat tu lakini unajua si sweat kuna ile emotional battle unapigana una, una nao inside your mind kwa sababu it affect maisha yako my name is caroline joking anga i'm 29 years old i live with primary focal hyperhidrosis and i'm an online writer um the fourth born in a family of six and i'm the only one with primary focal hyperhidrosis though i get it from my dad lakini yake si pronounced sana cuz ata sijiona kisweat mikono or anything but aliniambia at some point pia yeye anasianga na sweat see le no more but as far as my siblings are concerned i'm the only one who has it I have a twin sister but she doesn't have the same condition with me so i realized i have uh, i'm sweating my palms are sweating when i was around 7 or 8 years old because it is crazy lens za mikono kuna little puddles of sweat and i thought it aisha so tasikwambia mtu but of course i kuisha so with time like in primary school um napata vitabu zangu zinachafuka because i would go play outside and then come back the meja dart kwa mikono so uke na kuandika all that dart is washed on the book so my teachers were like caroline why are your books so dirty and you don't look like that kind of a person so ikafika mali actually stopped kwenda kucheza nje because i didn't want to answer the same questions over and over again because it was disturbing sana every teacher asking you what is going on so hiyo ikaacha kabisa and became an introverted person no playing kwenda tu nje kuzurura lakini hakuna mchezo kufika high school um things were sasa the stress ina continue hapo ndio self realization una realize actually hauko kama wale wengine and sasa unapata ile direct confrontation because you're sweating i remember there's a chick anga ni salimia maguze mikono zangu she's like yak you're sweating i can't touch your hands alafu nafikiri ina, ina inanuka kama hii jasho ingine but najua hainuki so hapo kuandika pia ilikuwa stress because my books were always wet unapata sasa hiyo pepa imedamejua na ni kama imemwagiliwa maji uh, i didn't participate in in, in those co curriculum activities and i just did one it was a music thing but i was so involving no holding hands no nothing i couldn't be exposed to anything sana in high school during pe i just used to hide kwa chapel kuna mwenye tuko tunaji hide una tuko na unava costumes akona kucheza lakini no playing at all then I would just put up on Danny my books and everything or just chatting with friends anything just to make sure I'm not out there in the field where I want to realize that I'm I'm not no more I'm sweating so it itaonekana people complain my hands are wet or anything like that now coming to college hapo saa kulikuwa na issues zingine there are a lot of presentations you you asked by a teacher to to explain something bele ya watu unaza kasweat kana teremka hivi so my classmate is like caroline as in any shall be corn or this year can be any has it on account because people will start thinking uko na anxiety uko na uko mwoga ndio maana una sweat which is really not the case eh? it's just that your situation inafanya inafanya things zikuwa wa so you're sweating like crazy nikiwa kina ngo high school and primary school nge va sweat all the time it was very normal it's a very cold place come to eldred it's hot and so I, i had to learn to cook a bila sweat and that ilikuwa stressful because ngo zangu zimeja sweat huku and for a girl that's not a good picture so i had to adjust my wardrobe sisi vangu zitaonesha zitaonesha sweat yangu huku kwa ampit hapana and coming to my shoes now i had to adjust sisi vaa tu kiatu hivi hivi i'll have to either ni vaa easy closed shoes kama zenye nimevaa ama kama ni sandals it has to have a, a rough surface or a velvet kind of a material that could absorb the sweat no ni saidia kutembea and coincidentally i have a best friend i met her in college she also has the same condition as me and sasa we had to learn how to manage the condition and akanifunza kutembea na a piece of uh, cloth ama a towel a face towel so at least ukitembea sana unapanguza miguu and at least in campus there were so many taps around so mina to be from class to class na rush na i clean my feet na zipanguza i go to the next class do at least niweze kukuran inyo my day and vizuri my siblings walikuwa used to there's a nickname they used to call me i can't remember walikuwa anita nini because walikuwa na sweat 
sana but they never judged me my sisters have always been there as in i can say i don't need to like now sana in my adult life not so much with my brother so if i have to make a decision especially when it comes to my clothing so what i want to wear what i want to buy they are, they give me that space to be myself when you see that we comfortable living with hyperhidrosis they give me a listening ear and they try to kuelewa what i'm going through siku niambia there are people you know you are told kuna watu wako na diabetes kuna watu wako na cancer yako si mbaya because hiyo inakuha sana by the way because mtu ana minimize shida yako whereas they don't even understand mentally what you're going through ukitembea hivyo kwa barabara sometimes una tembea pole pole because um sweat and that time your mind is like oh god why why is this happening my friends um the ones who are in Kenya deal nayo wako sawa but hakukosi wenye mnaitarak na wao and they are judgmental ama nasikia tu mtu amesema nini hapo pizza cause ina kwanga wet all the time we ask why your hands always cold hakukosangi hizo but my friends when you are immediate my inner circle they know what i deal with and they are very fine with that and how i take you to the mother or anything they are very understanding so hata wao wamekuwa kwa side is mkubwa sana kwangu hi good morning mati ta kwamilia When it comes to the government services that require fingerprints being taken, that's up on your neno ilianza. I remember the first time taking my ID to Lienda Uko and uh, just uh, of course the process ita itakuwa anxious because I know mambo tu zita happen. So nakumuka ule mtu alikuwa anachukua fingerprints zangu they asked me a very very bad question. At Caroline, unje shikwa na mwanaume, ndio bado una sweat. As in seriously? How can you ask me that? Atakoyo shughuli actually vidole zingine zikuwa zinatokea actually had to go do another retake kwa sababu ya hiyo sasa haya coming but the second time when i was taking before ni chukue because of the first experience inge taka hiyo hiyo ni ni tena i had to reapply for my id when taking my passport so vinye nilifika hapo i told the guy who was there nikamwambia i sweat a lot and ita, itasumbua so i ask for your patience and he was very understanding kaniambia sawa eto tu handkerchief tutafanya tu na pesi yako and he allowed me to do that ilikuwa kazi handkerchief yangu ilikuwa imechafuka vibaya sana but he was very very patient kuchukua passport they require you to we put your thumb there your fingers yako hapo pia inabidi several retics there but sasa at some point nilikuwa napata courage akwambia mtu mikono zangu zina sweat sana na si anxiety unapata ile courage if you don't mtu atakuchukulia vibaya ama atakwambia vibaya you know judging from the first experience i didn't want that nikichukua id so unaambia mtu i'm sweating so allow me nifanye pole pole nikijipanguza during um biometrics za uh, elections azangu waziko soma <laughs> they required i think 70% uh, they couldn't get there so I had to do the manual thing. This is the way you just feeding the details manually instead of your nini. And thank God, still bad I was an officer there at the election, so I just kind of took a place. Yangu nika, I do the, the thing, my thing. Eh? But hizo hazi kusoma. Anxiety na kuanga tu hapo mahali to the point like unafika you ask you start asking why me kwa nini mimi nizaliwa na hii condition like <clears throat> inafanya i have to adjust my life holy kenya whatever everything i do including the clothes i wear lazima nikumbuke i have hyperhidrosis if i'm going to a function there will be a lot of fun i'm like i have to be very careful what i'm wearing because i don't want to embarrass myself i remember one time um tulikuwa chat and there was a function and i could feel Dasho ikiteremka kwa miguu and I'm like thank god I'm wearing a long dress because sasa si doing kefanya ingekuwa aje to have been the most embarrassing thing on the planet so hiyo ku other moment ilikuwa niko tu na stress kabisa I can't even concentrate with what, concentrate with what I'm doing Dasho in many stress siezi kutembea vizuri my clothes are wet and I will come back in the house and sometimes I cry and asking god can siende si you can do so much god why kwanini condition na yeziisha and then sometimes you try to explain to somebody the things that you go through mtu anakwambia ni sweat tu lakini unajua si sweat kuna ile emotional battle unapigana una, una nao inside your mind kwa sababu it affect maisha yako it is going to it is affecting my my job nikiwa kwa ofisi with my my, my colleagues and 
handling papers sisi shika papers for long niko hapo kwa computer with my mouse mtu anakuja kunionyesha kitu my boss ni lazima nipanguze mouse yangu so ako ka stress kali kwa finding my desk penye nimekelea mikono imekuwa wet so i had to like be careful everything that i'm doing i'm watching myself I remember one time this um to look at me I'm hali with my boss and it is so hot and I'm still in my sweater and like Carlos you tore sweater so ku tore my top was and he like angalia vile ume sweat you know such comments were really were really bad ni ile tu unataka I wish I could just work from home na ile hii kitu inezaisha ama work and I do actually your time to lifanya ni aze sasa I had to look for uh alternatives how what can i do to do it with with my condition there's a time my job was not so far from where i'm living right now so i would just used to work so come over and be watching the sandals my friend it was something else ni metembea pole pole because the moment i hit the gate migu yangu tayari na sweat and i was walking so slowly I remember actually a man pulled over akaniambia ningia kwa gari cuz actually leona kuna shida unaenda mbali hapana ningia kwa gari aliona tu msana Hayo kosa wao he was like una tembea like an innocent person angejua Um I moved to Vika eh, Vika in 2017 and this place is rather hot than kwenye nilikuwa nimetoka other parts of Kiambu kwenye nilikuwa nimetoka so kuguza I had to adjust my wardrobe and that was not easy sasa kununua nguo zingine armless clothes no at least I okay sweat I I'm pissed in a breathe out on a kana change my shoes completely and I remember there's a time nilikuwa na, naangalia masas isinge walk back home when the sun is still hot at 5 hapana nikoa goje ya 6:30 ndio ni at least ni sicho mwana jua sana nikikuja because uso itakuwa imejaa jasho sometimes you get those bands ama tu hiyo kushindwa kutembea kwa sababu hata nikiwa na hizi sandals kama sijava the inner socks bado ita hizi viatu litakuwa tu bado imejaa sweat na kutembea na kwa kazi ngumu so anxiety imekuwa hapo sometimes asking god questions you shouldn't ask him your depression ya itaisha at some point can i be like a normal person when you think about going to get a service and it will involve your hands or people realize ni hapo unakaa like you have to call all help in the world like just give me courage eh? so relationships are not easy because kuna hiyo physical touch interacting with somebody and at some point the sweating itajionyesha and you have to talk about it you have to tell your partner what you're dealing with so my last relationship wasn't easy hakuna hata ile usijali i was like you're sorry <laughs> and i was cutting comments like you know angalia nguo zako nini nini so at point like mkienda tukienda out i had to like hakikisha sijava kitu yenye inaonyesha i'm sweating so and i would avoid cool cold hands because hakuwa na nielewa venye niko and that ilikuwa ina ni affect unasikia hauna peace you know i would rather we talk on the phone all the time than uh, um to commit uh, or you have to hold hands or something like that or i have to think of what i'm wearing i have to wear dark clothes and yazito onesha so it so my last relationship was it was haikuwa mzuri sana and from that point um ilikuwa ina bd if i have to get into so with someone i have to explain to them i have this and this ndio ujue kama unaka ama ukai um currently my relationship is very good i have a very understanding man so when i explain to him what i deal with and what i have experienced before he was very understanding he listened to me and he doesn't mind all that he doesn't mind if my top is showing the sweat he doesn't mind like i can't look sex with high heels like the rest of the ladies kwa sababu naelewa nitavutika tu miguu five steps because you'll be so sorry and he doesn't mind holding hands you just give me a break me me sweat sana you know just get a moment and clean your hands eh? and the best part is he actually finds out information about hyperhidrosis so there's a time he would call me and like in the summer in ai kwaze he has watched your videos so he knows a lot he watched the first video i did and that has been very good because now i can be myself with him and that that is great support for me so thank you so much i'm really grateful that you're very understanding and you allow me to be myself living with hyperhidrosis you understand it's not easy and you allow me to be myself with it and i love you so much for that thank you
kafika mahali niko na EC no mwaki. I have to do something about it. And then I was in the process of researching and Google what is excessive sweating is in normal and then you hapo niko na it's actually called hyperhidrosis. Before siku jua ni nini or you know I had no opportunity or anything explaining to me what I was going through. So ni niko na hyperhidrosis and I started googling how I can I can neza i manage and um at that point, I actually talked to a doctor, like in her quad, see specialist, just a doctor. And her argument, you can't take a dawa flani dry cloth, you can't take a kutoka kwake, and you can't take a kutoka kwake, and you can't take a kutoka kwake. So yeah, Lijua, if you're asking for this, you must be a person sweating excessively. So at least they knew that. But Sasa Kanyambia Kujunione, so I went to see her. Though her. When you are looking at diagnosing in my like, there's something causing my body to localize sweating in specific areas: my hands, my feet, my armpits, and part of my face. So, akaza kunipea dawa za kufanya like cleansing the body or something like that. Ndio yaza kusweat all over, but of course that didn't help. And those meds were so expensive. Your time singa manage kwendele anazo. 2017, now I was really looking for something to, you know, I needed a, a support group or somebody who was dealing with the same condition like. And then you have one night somebody called me and I came to it for that's the time you were doing your interview there. And I remember that was the best day of my life because finally there's something I can relate to. Naumtu, ako Kenya, si ya kombali, ati tutakuwa na shida kumpata. Hyperhidrosis is like Kenya, and there's somebody who is speaking about that. And then, Sasa, you give your contacts, the Facebook contacts, and then that's where I joined. And then, Ukasema Tufungwe, a WhatsApp group. And then, that's where then Hyperhidrosis Awareness Kenya family was born. And it has been tremendous, I can say that. To meet people who are like me, people giving you ideas of what they have done before to help them with the sweating. A place where you can just speak about your condition. Hakuna mtu wana kujaj, there are no cutting remarks. Hakuna, you know, it was really good to find people like me, meet them face to face, meet you. It was, it was, it has been a very good uh, journey. I can say that. And since joining Hyperhidrosis, which Awareness Kenya, which is even giving us uh, topical treatments, not giving, selling to us <laughs> uh, treatments that we can use, not to cure hyperhidrosis because it doesn't have a cure, but at least to manage so that we can try to have a normal lives. What I would like to tell somebody who has hyperhidrosis, ni kwanza ujikubali, accept yourself. Hyperhidrosis ayendi mahali, so you have to learn how to live with it. And there, there's a lot of information right now, and you can learn how to live with hyperhidrosis, the tropical treatments you can use, and find an anchor. If you're a religious person, pray. If you're not, find a friend or something that makes you yourself. And usikubali dribs zako zikuwe, zikuwe stopped kwa sababu ya hyperhidrosis. Because utalive, you only live once, that's what we say. Utapata, you give up your dream because of hyperhidrosis. Most of us have done that. So what I would tell a young person right now when you're going to hyperhidrosis, ama mzazi ya kona mtoto kona hyperhidrosis, Give your a, a parent to give your children that environment, give your child environment to bloom, akwe, even if a nation your condition and be a very strong supportive system. But for somebody as like me, just accept yourself and find an anchor. That's the only thing that's gonna make you move on with life. Guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. As always, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe so we can stay connected. See you next time.